Hey guys, this is the Prince of Macedon, and I'm doing a commentary video on the Libyan Plains. This is the Scythia versus Greek city-state battle. I'm in command of the Scythians, and my opponent is Soaring Eagle in command of the Greek city-states. Let's look at my Scythian army first. I have two squadrons of Scythian noble archers, one on both wings of my army. Those are horse archers, very expensive. Then I have four squadrons of Scythian nobles. That's my heavy cavalry force. And rounding off my army, I have six units of archer warbands. That's my army there. Let's look at the Greek city-state army of Soaring Eagle. He has two squadrons of General's Armored Bodyguard and two squadrons of Greek cavalry. They're separated evenly on both wings. Then he has five units of Spartan hoplites, backed by two units of Cretan archers. After seeing my army, my um, opponent, Soaring Eagle, He's going to spread his troops out into loose formation, hoping to minimize the damage caused by my arrows, and I have a lot of them. So it'll help a little bit. So I'm just going to push forward here while my opponent's reorganizing. Now a lot of you people seem to think that taking a lot of light infantry is a bad idea, but that's because I don't think you play on low money, and I don't think you play online. So you're going to see the power of having this many archers. I'm going to move forward here. So my opponent's spreading his uh, Cretans out too. But his Cretans are completely outmatched in this fight. I'm already shooting at them. Alright, so we're exchanging fire now. But his Cretans are completely outmatched right now. There's only two of them versus six of my guys on foot and two of them who are horse archers. So my opponent's going to uh, charge my archers he completely underestimates the power of, of upgraded archers, because my guys can hold his light cavalry in place here, while I bring the rest of my cavalry force to strike his cavalry. So, um, here it is. I just drove out his cavalry. There they are. And there you going bye-bye. Yeah, you don't want to charge that many um, archers, especially when they're upgraded like that. Unless you have a very infinite superiority in cavalry. So just like that, I shattered his uh, left wing of cavalry. This one came back from routing, but look at that, they're down to 13 men now. And his Cretan archers, they are depleted. This one's down to 30, the other one is is gone. So, I'm going to spread out on both wings of my cavalry. I'm going to seek a cavalry fight and annihilate his cavalry. Then I can um, easily surround the rest of his army, which is now composed of just... Um, mainly hoplites. That is after I destroy his cavalry. You can see my archers. I'm just targeting his army right now. Let's see where my, my missiles land. Right now I'm just blasting away at his uh, horses. I don't want to shoot the front of his uh, Spartans, but that's a waste of arrows. You want to shoot the uh, their sides or their flanks. Okay. So you can see my army. They're all spread out. Oh, in case you're wondering why I don't have any flags, I turned off the flags so that it looks more realistic. Okay. So you can see me... I'm going to wrap around both flanks here. I'm going to keep his um, his Spartans busy in the center here with my foot archers. And you can see me blasting away at his, um, at his hoplites now. Alright, there's some action going on. What is it? Oh, okay, that was just my um, my archers brushing up against the Spartans, but there were no casualties in that engagement. All right, now I'm going to uh, move my cavalry out, and I'm going to seek the cavalry fight because his cavalry is isolated from the rest of his army. And in case he has ideas about reuniting with his army, I'm going to cut him off with this with this troop of uh, horse archers. So here we go. It's going to surround him. And destroy him. And there goes his cavalry force. See my whole horde of cavalry? This is how a step faction fights. Like, they will avoid, like, evenly matched battles, but they will seek to fight in situations where they're completely superior. You can see this particular unit of uh, General's Armored Bodyguard. They have stopped routing. But my opponent doesn't see that. So I'm going to detach a unit 
of cavalry to destroy them. And right now, there's my you can see my general right there. So he's gonna command some cavalry to go forward and annihilate those uh, horsemen. So I'm gonna charge into them. You can see my guys; they don't they don't drop their lances. All right, so. You can see what my archers did to his uh, Spartans right here. They are now down to 11 men from 81. And some of you seem to think that having this many archers is a bad idea. Personally, I don't like bringing this many archers. But if you're Scythian, you have to bring tons of them. So look at this destruction of his Spartan hoplites. Okay, so now he's just down to his Spartan hoplites. And my troops are surrounding him right now. And he actually charged into my um, my archers with his uh, Spartan hoplites here. But he turned around when he saw my cavalry coming. So now my archers, they can um, pull their knives out and stab these Spartans in the back. And here comes the rest of my cavalry force and to the rescue. And we're just going to sandwich those Spartans right there. Alright, so he detached another Spartan hoplite unit to help out. But they're too late. So I'm just going to disperse my force, then surround him. And now these Spartans are gone. Now he's attaching another force of Spartans, and this is where his general's at. And they have drawn their swords out, and I'm just going to charge into them. I lost my general, but I always lose my general. Now I'm going to charge the rest of his Spartans right here, because now all of his Spartans are isolated. And see my horseman, he just flew, like, 20 feet in the air. Look at that one. Anyways, we're gonna deal the death blow to his army here. He's gonna annihilate his Spartans. You can see what's going on, I'm surrounding them from all sides. There's like, maybe five Spartans left here. I'm gonna kill them. And then he has one last unit of Spartans. That's where his general's at. I'm just gonna charge into them. Let's see how long they last from this frontal charge. They're holding up pretty well, but look how many guys I have. So now they have been crushed. So victory for Scythia. That was a heroic victory. I had 692 kills with 598 men remaining. Soaring Eagle had 239 kills with 25 men remaining. Good game to Soaring Eagle.